our first continent of study this year is going to be North America. With North America, we have several different countries that come into play. We have our neighbor to the north, Canada, us, the United States, and our neighbor to the south, Mexico, and several other central or what your atlas says, middle American countries. We also have the country, Greenland, which is over there off the, uh, the Canadian coast, and we're going to talk just a little bit about um, that large country. We're first going to start with the United States. We are the fourth largest country in the world. We are behind Russia, who we'll talk about when we talk about um, Europe and Asia, Canada, which we'll talk about next, and then China, when we talk about Asia, we'll get more into China. One of the nice features about the United States is the Great Lakes. And four out of the five Great Lakes share a border with Canada. I always use the um, mnemonic device, Homes, to try and remember the Great Lakes names. They are H for Huron, O for Ontario, M for Michigan, E for Erie, and S for Superior. Now we'll be talking about these Great Lakes and why they're important to the United States and Canada. Um, we also discover why Erie became so famous um, back in the War of 1812. My bonus question for you is, for you to do a little research on your own, is one of the Great Lakes does not share a border with Canada. It's completely in the United States. Which country is that? We'll talk more about that in class. Our next country is Canada. Like I said in the first slide, the previous slide, um, Canada is the second biggest country in the world. We are... Canada's biggest trading partner, the United States. And almost 80% of Canada's entire population lives in the south part of Canada. So my question to you is, why do you think that happens? Why is 80% of the population towards the border between the United States and Canada? When you look at a map, maybe that will help you try and figure that one out. And then finally, we're going to talk a little bit about Mexico and the Central or Middle American countries. Now Mexico is the largest Central American country and we're not going to spend too much time talking about Mexico. Instead I'm going to steer you towards a little country called Panama. Panama is one of the most important Central American countries down there. Um, the Panama Canal is in Panama and it's one of the most important waterways in the world. It connects the Pacific Ocean with the Atlantic Ocean. Now, when we look at a map, I want you to tell me why this connection of the Pacific Ocean and Atlantic Ocean is extremely important.